Hello everyone, welcome back to Candid Coffee. I have three amazing women. Uh, see, no, let's start again. <laughs> what happened? Wait, fix your necklace. Oh yes, I love this thing. It's supposed to be a water lily with raindrops. Anyway. <laughs> okay. Uh, hello everyone, we are back to Candid Coffee. I have three amazing women here who are all part of the women's portal, Nadine, Lucina, and Eve. Ladies, I'm so happy to be here with Nadine again, a returning uh, guest, and two new ladies who are coming together for a much needed cause, awakening and, and, and sisterhood. For all of us movement so, movement there you go mm, yeah. uh all of these words they're coming at me it's great it's okay we're not even going to cut it um nine and please introduce yourself again and then we'll take this in well first of all thank you for again providing us a platform for us to be able to introduce ourselves to your audience and also you know uh, show our audience how we're expanding so this mm -hmm. is always an amazing opportunity for anybody to take so i highly recommend you guys Get an appointment with Vintage Chris. <laughs> I had to do the plug-in. I had to do the plug-in. I love it. Um, I'm Coach Nar. Some of you know me by just Nar or Nar Smart. I'm Bad Moms mm -hmm. author. Um, and I'm lucky to know so many amazing women that I could work with, with our passions being in the forefront and the vision that we have for our community, for sisterhood. Um, so it's been a long time coming. And thank you for your, you know, uh, for you treading the way, kind of, so to say. So with the Women, Women Move Mountains event, mm -hmm. we met a lot of great people. Us together. And yes. brought us together yes. again, and again. And again. Yeah. Second Absolutely. annual, and it's going to be third annual, and it's going to be annual, and it's just mm -hmm. going to be annual. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, it doesn't matter how many annuals. <laughs> <laughs> and I met uh, Eve and uh, Lucy. Lucy through a uh, Bad Moms episode. And so, like, you know, it's interesting. We met online as well. Mm -hmm. So, gotta love the internet for some things. Mm -hmm. It's not all bad. Right. And we're here together. We decided to conjoin forces, knowledge, mm -hmm. experience, passion, vision, mm -hmm. purpose, and create the woman's portal. Awesome. I can't wait to tell uh, everybody about how small the women's portal is now and the, the amount of potential it has to grow mm -hmm. because of you three. Um, so Lucy Najan, please tell us what you do. Thank you for having us, Chris. I really appreciate the opportunity. Uh, my name is Lucina. I am a licensed marriage family therapist. I am co-owner of the North Bush Counseling Center. I've been in the mental health field for about 15 plus years. Mm -hmm. Everything that you can think of, I've probably done already. So um, the goal is to really bring the community together of Armenian women specifically, and that's where we're targeting our audience. So I'm really happy to be here in collaboration with Coach Nar, of course, with my partner, Evelina, and we really do want to empower the women in our community to grow within themselves. And hopefully we'll be able to discuss more in detail about that coming up. Mm -hmm. My name is Eve and I'm a marriage and family therapist. I'm not yet licensed, I'm working on my license. And as Lucy mentioned, um, we've collaborated together with Coach Nar um, as a Northridge Counseling Center and Coach Nar to um, create the Women's Portal to reach out to our Armenian community uh, because it's much needed to, to get that support um, and to connect with them. So thank you for having us. You're very welcome, all three of you. Thank you for giving me the opportunity as well. My, my guests are an honor for me to have any time, no matter who they are, mm -hmm. because it's not just some person. Mm -hmm. It's somebody that I've gotten to know and admire and respect, so therefore they come to the show. Um, uh, you mentioned twice this is for the Armenian community, and I really want to emphasize that. And mm -hmm. I want us to this to be an introduction, like an infomercial right. of, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, the Women's Portal and Northridge uh, Counseling Center and Coach Nar. Mm -hmm. um, and Vintage Chris. And Vintage Chris, sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we have really um, experienced on our own, both as daughters, 
uh, and as uh, mothers, mothers and, and mm -hmm. spouses and things like that, um, how difficult it is to break the ice amongst um, Armenians, uh, especially when it comes to really personal topics mm -hmm. that they want to, that they maybe are mature enough to understand that they need to address, but they don't want to because um, they are uh, ashamed or uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about really important. What is what type of services does Northridge Counseling Center offer, and also um, hand in hand, what type of what type of help and guidance they can get from the women's portal? So that's a double question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So with Northridge Counseling Center, we provide counseling. We provide psychoeducational group counseling services mm -hmm. to the community. And, but specifically, we've started the facility as a domestic violence facility. And then we've uh, ventured out, and now we provide parenting classes and anger management classes. And we specifically, life skills, life as, life well. skills as well, yes. Mm -hmm. And we work with the courts. Uh, we've, we're an approved site, um, so we, we directly work with the courts, and we get uh, clients. With the courts? With the courts. Yes. Okay. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. okay. they're mandated mm -hmm. through the court mm -hmm. uh -huh. to complete these classes mm -hmm. right. based on the circumstances mm -hmm. that they come into court mm -hmm. with. Mm -hmm. So we are there to provide a safe haven. Mm -hmm. It's already a struggle when mm -hmm. you're dealing with domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So we want to provide a safe haven for the groups that we provide, which is for men, it's different. For women, it's different. We cannot combine those groups. Right, of course. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, we have two separate groups that we provide in person, and we also provide online, mm -hmm. and we provide with them with tons of resources, mm -hmm. for especially with financial needs, get them back on their feet. Mm -hmm. Whatever it is that they need, we're there for them. Mm -hmm. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I have uh, heard about you know them getting counseling and things like that for anger management for yes. domestic violence mm -hmm. when I uh, was with the court and hopefully it helps sometimes it doesn't um, but as far as I'm more concerned about like women feeling like they're helpless right. feeling like mm -hmm. they have nowhere to go no one to talk to if they go to a family member they're mm -hmm. gonna be either they're gonna say it's none of my business I don't want to hear it mm -hmm. or they're gonna say well you just you chose to marry the guy so you deal with it you know, and um, and it, it sucks because uh, it, that's uh, the norm sometimes right. with our mm -hmm. reaction to things. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And so I really want to make sure that women can go to you and what mm -hmm. they would expect if they did. And if they're afraid to go back home, you know, those feelings that they may yeah. have. And we address mm -hmm. all that. Mm -hmm. And we do have certain locations, shelters that they mm -hmm. can go to mm -hmm. if they don't feel comfortable mm -hmm. going home. So we always have a solution mm -hmm. for them. Right. Anything that allows them to feel safe, mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. the goal. So they need to know they can reach out. Right. No judgments, right. no criticism, mm -hmm. no questions. Mm -hmm. They can pick up the phone and say, mm -hmm. hey, I need help, and that's it. Mm -hmm. We will guide them the rest of the way. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's really important, and I'm not trying to like categorize everybody and say we're special or we need mm -hmm. spe certain special, you know, silk gloves to handle the situation, mm -hmm. but because you're Armenian mm -hmm. and because if you have a client or a patient who comes to you who is Armenian, mm -hmm. you're going to look at it in a way based on our culture and mm -hmm. familiarize, mm -hmm. familiarize mm -hmm. it, exactly, thank you, Nadia, Absolutely. and how they they're gonna feel talking to certain types of parents and certain mm -hmm. types of mentalities and things like that and age groups depending mm -hmm. on how old or young they are mm -hmm. um, and I think that's really important because as as much as a counselor would always want the best for their client and is mm -hmm. gonna give them the best advice mm -hmm. and analyze them I feel like just having that background mm -hmm. is really important mm -hmm. Absolutely. for all of you really absolutely May I add add yes to that uh, the fact that I even answered so freely and willingly familiarize mm -hmm. uh, really makes me concerned for the community because of the fact that it's so familiar exactly. and we don't do anything about it while it's happening and because it's so familiar and yet we have the least amount of women from the community seeking help right or guidance mm -hmm. or counseling mm -hmm. And it's uh, because of shame. Mm -hmm. So there's so many intricacies woven into this mm -hmm. thing. Mm -hmm. 
you know, thing. What is it? What is this thing? Help me out here, ladies. This lifestyle and situation mm -hmm. that we are born into, and it we threatens uh, the culture. And it the threatens culture. the culture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. It's mm -hmm. uncertainty. Mm -hmm. You know. So we're here to dismantle that. Mm -hmm. Right. Right. Yeah. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. There's so much taboo behind what we're discussing. I actually wanted to add everything that we said. You would think oh, well, this would apply to the Armenian community with the DV and the cases. Mm -hmm. Well, guess what? We don't see a high number of those cases, even though it happens mm -hmm. a lot yeah. within our community. Right. But they have the way, their... DV means domestic, domestic violence. Domestic violence, absolutely. Mm -hmm. yeah. They find a way to avoid the need to attend the classes right. and fulfill Bandaging their responsibilities. Mm -hmm. Because for mm -hmm. them... Well, it happened. It's not like this happens all the time. I don't have a problem. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're fine. Right. It happened one time. It's a family. Things happen. Mm -hmm. Call it a day. But they don't realize the seriousness of what is happening within their family units. Right. The destruction right. that it's causing. Agreed. Agreed, mm -hmm. yeah. And what, mm -hmm. if, what if it's something that's... And I don't even know what's too often or what's too much, but like even once is too many for me. But even mm -hmm. if it happens like sporadically mm -hmm. when there's domestic violence, I feel like they're going to say, love, I'll, mm -hmm. I'll take one for the team. I'll stay. I won't say anything. It's not that bad. It, the mm -hmm. last time it happened was like a year ago or, you know, six months ago, whatever it is. Like they make excuses for their partners and for themselves. But like... Mm -hmm. I know what's happening mm -hmm. and we all know what's happening and mm -hmm. other forms of abuse is happening but it's just I don't know why it's so hard to come forward especially when you have the freedom in, here now today mm -hmm. in this life um, so because we've normalized it we've mm -hmm. normalized it yeah it's the upbringing mm -hmm. and also the it's it, we're shamed we're not allowed to say anything um, we're afraid of how we're going to be looked at right. if we do speak up. Right. It's, it's, yeah. Also, therapy is considered to be like just only for the crazies. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. You have, you got to be crazy to go to therapy. So mm -hmm. they don't want to take into accountability mm -hmm. like, oh, mm -hmm. it's not that, guys. It's just something that you have to, again, the word mm -hmm. of the day is dismantle. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's so many, mm -hmm. so many traumas that we go through and so many instances where we experience like these feelings that we can't understand and we bottle it up and mm -hmm. we grow up with mm -hmm. it and it grows with us and it just becomes a part of us and every decision we make is based upon that one instance in our life so mm -hmm. when we don't seek help when we don't mm -hmm. seek therapy when we don't go back when we don't when we are afraid of our own selves and our own lives we never actually evolve we stay the same way and I'm talking about as a community because right. we're only as strong as our weakest link and re really right now I don't know how strong we are uh, we're trying mm -hmm. I suppose but we're still pretty weak uh, mm -hmm. low morale still I feel yeah um, no willingness to really put in effort and change this coffee is like I'm a statue right now but no no willingness to like change you know no willingness mm -hmm. Be, and I think because you're making me think about it now yeah. why so because culturally we have been instilled with certain values and understanding because we've normalized family dynamics in a way where yelling arguing is considered normal or speaking in a loud tone of voice is considered normal mm -hmm. or disrespecting because you did something wrong would be considered normal why would we find that yeah. that there would be a need for me to correct something that I grew up with yeah. thinking it's thinking normal, it's it's normal. normal. cuz now I think you're crazy yeah. because you don't understand me and my culture mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. what what makes you think I would need to go to therapy this is just how everyone yeah. grows up yeah, I'm mm -hmm. the crazy one right mm -hmm. I get it and also if you are if it's okay to to yell and to scream and to verbally abuse then one extra step above that is like I mean I just pushed you mm -hmm. yeah right it's not like mm -hmm. I hit you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or even having, having a bad day. You were, yeah. yeah. Because yeah, they make excuses. And they're having a bad day. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be their punching bag. Mm -hmm. And he's going to, you know. Mm -hmm. 
pour all this out mm-hmm. onto me and sometimes mm-hmm. it's just verbal which is terrible mm-hmm. already As it is, mm-hmm. yeah. if it's con- t- continuous mm-hmm. i'm not saying we're mm-hmm. all buddhists mm-hmm. here right you know yes. but if it's mm-hmm. constantly constantly mm-hmm. doing that it's just like one other step is is mm-hmm. that and then once that happens you make excuses for that too mm-hmm. right so what's lacking then right within the male uh community education because we really can't completely mm. blame them for this because they've been brought up thinking that this is okay. It's the conditioning. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's a learned behavior. So you're talking about the privileges of being a male in our Armenian community, mm-hmm. right? Absolutely. Male so privileges. It's, it's a learned yeah. behavior. So what we we gotta un- help them to unlearn that and to provide yeah. education. So education about their behavior. Yeah. Behavior. Like the dismantling. Is, exactly. Right. Dismantling. And I yes. think in addition to that, parenting. Yeah. Educating. But a lot of parents. mothers make excuses for their sons. Right. So mm-hmm. that's where even mm-hmm. the very educating, bad behavior. Right. Comes Absolutely. In. Mm-hmm. Because it's a reflection upon mm-hmm. their parenting. And, right. Oh, the husband chases. They can do this. They can do that. And mm-hmm. you know what I've come across when a situation like that occurs? Mm-hmm. They never ask them out. What What did you do? They ask the female. Well, what did you do that caused them to react that way? Mm-hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Why because is that question that why is that question the not first question. being mm-hmm. asked to yeah. him? Yeah, but exactly. But rather to her. Exactly. Well, each other it's Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, why though? Why is it targeted towards her? Why is it that she had to do something for him to react so aggressively? Mm-hmm. It's because she should know better, that's why. And that's where you come into the woman's portal. Mm-hmm. And that's where the woman's mm-hmm. portal comes in. Mm-hmm. Yes. Where we teach you to know better. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it's not to say we're dictating anything in a woman's portal. Mm-hmm. Right. I truly um, feel for both males yes. and females. Absolutely. I truly do. Yeah. And when we work with an Armenian culture, we have to be very gentle and very careful about with what we respect. say. Yeah. Because we have a gap of generation that we work with because my generation is different from my mom's. My mom's is different from her mom's and so forth. And we have to be so gentle with how we say things and not to to be mindful and not to be disrespectful. Right. Mm-hmm. And that they're so fragile, right? Mm-hmm. They, and I don't mean that condescendingly. They no. are very fragile, and you have to be emotionally careful of what fragile. you say, mm-hmm. so that chavachinan and never. Oh, I don't want to talk to this person anymore. Yeah. And you, know, you don't I'm not want go them or going or home after women's portal, and then having that type of a problem yeah. with their spouse that they've lived for thirty-five years. Mm-hmm. Right. We. Right. We want to make sure that we we help them to become more self-aware, mm-hmm. and maybe through that help them their spouse also to to learn that mm-hmm. compassion. So I want to kind of dive into the women's portal and how we we're conducting this, so that okay. way we get an idea about what we're doing, why we're doing mm-hmm. this, who we're doing this with. Mm-hmm. Um, so like. Like we said, we collaborated with each other upon re- discovering each other uh, online. Mm-hmm. Uh, <clears throat> with a hello. With a hello. Hello, <laughs> hello how are you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so we discovered each other and immediately we vibed together, just like how you and I vibed. It's, it's amazing. Right. And, and so... Very natural. Yeah, we decided to meet in person mm-hmm. um, during COVID. We're so courageous. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good. I'm happy that happened. So we decided to meet in person. We met again. We vibed. We decided that this is going to happen. This women's group is going to happen because it's a long time coming for women to finally mm-hmm. come together mm-hmm. and express themselves with what we already know that they're going through. Mm-hmm. We mm-hmm. already know, just like how you mm-hmm. said, "I see you, girl. I see what you're going through. Mm-hmm. We know what you're experiencing." Mm-hmm. And this is by no means, in no way, to try to separate families. No, no, we absolutely actually. Not empower yes. and give resources mm-hmm. to the women so they can go and teach their men about what they've learned about themselves mm-hmm. in a very gentle manner mm-hmm. in a very informative manner and their children and, and their, their children, children of right. course yes. and their children and even their friends they're mm-hmm. good for it's mm-hmm. good for the woman if it's good for the woman it's good for the family of course mm-hmm. the, the woman, woman takes everything back home yes. she's the queen bee mm-hmm. when did we forget this 
Yeah. You know? We haven't forgotten. Or we I think haven't. We haven't forgotten, but what our roles have taken over. There's no other Armenian women support group. That I don't I don't know of it. That, does know. anyone know of any? Have you well, heard online? online? I'm online. talking about in person yeah. to and bring it's a safe place um, and, and not a bashing each other and asking for doctor recommendations or even uh, mm. diagnosing each other online, which is ridiculous. But well, other, right. I was so. Break the do you know bit. any yeah. other no. a, a safe, no. supportive environment that's guide uh, strictly focused and targeted for the Armenian mm -hmm. community right. to provide a safe haven for a woman's group where they mm -hmm. can come in? and truly be themselves no judgment. without hesitation. No judgment. So if yes. they're struggling with something inside, you know, if they're um, battling, if they're mm -hmm. fighting their internal demons, which we all are, um, let's face it, mm -hmm. we all are fighting our demons mm -hmm. on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. It's just a level of proper coping skills and that we have mm -hmm. to be able to overcome these struggles. Right. But we wanna allow them a safe haven, mm -hmm. a safe place for them to come and feel like themselves right and if they say something not to be looked at in any kind of way or be judged yes but to be validated to yes. be heard mm -hmm. and to be recognized 100%. that's the goal of the woman's portal and it's amazing to see the woman in our group yeah mm -hmm. who become so vulnerable who let go who let go of their fears mm -hmm. and, and then ask wait, is it okay? And what's what's the first thing they say? It, is it normal to feel like this? Or mm -hmm. am I normal? Mm -hmm. Is it okay? Yeah. When did it not become okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's definitely something that is going to grow. Um, it's yes. going to take momentum and yes. the life of its own. Yes. Mm -hmm. Once people start um, understanding what it is about. Mm -hmm. um, we, and the comfort level, it mm -hmm. needs to grow. Come sure. on, come mm -hmm. on, it's right. growing. And, mm -hmm. you know, we have had some people come in. By the way, I have been attending these women's portals, and I absolutely love it. I love to listen. I love to give my input. It is it is a giant therapy session, but it's also a really great mm -hmm. bonding experience right. just with friends. Mm -hmm. We became, we are mm -hmm. friends. We became friends. Mm -hmm. And I just want to promote it and talk about it because I, I never have or anybody on my show, or I, or I never continue a, a relationship with someone or a friendship with someone if I don't believe in them. And if I don't actually have tried that brand or worked with that company mm -hmm. or gone mm -hmm. to the portal. So it's because I love it so much that I think it's important that we continue discussing it. And mind you, we have women who are as young as in their mid twenties all the right. way to mm -hmm. you know 50s and yeah. things mm -hmm. like that. So um, it is like a mother daughter kind of like bonding thing a lot of us are mothers ourselves we are daughters and things like that so um i just want more people to be okay with even just even very uh you know being even if you're pessimistic just come and try just try for a little bit oh the first class it's free yeah, it's, yeah. First we have to say free. there's a there's a membership fee involved right. and we mm -hmm. have two classes each class is about two hours long right uh we we serve coffee and pastry mm -hmm. and you know sweets. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we switch it up, mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna have paint night, wine night. Right. Mm -hmm. We all, we ask that our members pay a membership fee, mostly because we want commitment. Right. Because when you pay a membership fee, you also are committed to the people who are paying a membership fee. You're committed to coming mm -hmm. to the classes. Mm -hmm. When you don't pay, you're like, ah, I'll miss this one. Ah, I'll miss that one. Mm -hmm. And right. then guess what? Mm -hmm. You miss out on seeing that person that you bonded with earlier and because they don't have to come they're not mm -hmm. obligated mm -hmm. you know they're not going to feel bad for missing a free yeah. class mm -hmm. yeah so it is a 60 dollar a month fee mm -hmm. twice but a that month. also also includes it allows us to get the proper funding oh, to be course. able mm -hmm. to we pay more for that for gym membership yeah uh, absolutely sake. well i mean, I mean on, for like coffee a month health. at starbucks yes. will cost yeah. you more if you mm -hmm. calculate every day yeah you know i your mean coffee, i buy coffee from starbucks every time the traveler size so like just just forty dollars goes on coffee and treats right. that day. So. And I think more mm -hmm. so is to be able to um, incorporate future outings. Yes. You know, yes. Yes. incorporate mm -hmm. uh, bringing in special speakers, um, speakers. speakers mm -hmm. to the group mm -hmm. um, that's targeted towards whatever topic that we're discussing mm -hmm. for that month mm -hmm. or for that week. Mm -hmm. So the funding allows us to 
open up more doors if that makes yeah. sense so mm -hmm. it's really about growing again within ourselves within the community to mm -hmm. be able to do more than just sit down and talk because we want to incorporate so many different mm -hmm. things yeah of course. it pays yeah. for the location yeah. right uh, of course uh, the... and we're explaining ourselves because we want to be able to offer this service mm -hmm. you know and more and more right. and maybe like if we have sponsors we wouldn't have to charge our mm -hmm. members mm -hmm. right but like there's a, a there's prices to pay for things we gotta of like course, yeah. expenses to cover yeah so again we're explaining ourselves because i mean i feel like i'm explaining myself but it's okay well, i think it's important yeah. for people mm -hmm. to know yes, the behind yes. the story mm -hmm. and why we created this we and actually dropped price. the price we did we did drop the price, the price. <laughs> but i also <laughs> we're gonna cut this price but i that. also want to <laughs> say this with any other program yeah um there is always a membership yes. and mm -hmm. I think there has to be mm -hmm. in order for you to grow properly. Mm -hmm. Of course. To be able yes. to um, basically put your dreams out mm -hmm. there, you yes. know, to create mm -hmm. those goals and to make it happen and to allow the females to have a better mm -hmm. overall experience. I agree. You know, unfortunately in this world, nothing can be mm -hmm. done free. Unless someone out there, one of you viewers, I'm looking right at you, straight at you, put all three cameras in the thing. Mm -hmm. Sponsor a woman who can't afford to come to the women's portal. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. and we can get, and if you are that woman who can't afford to come to the women's portal, please send us a direct message. We will get your names on the list and I will personally see to it that we get some sponsors for you. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's $60 a month per woman. Mm -hmm. It includes two classes, two hours each class. And friendship, mm -hmm, community, mm -hmm. mental health, awareness. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to add to that, I'm really proud of what we do, that it's not only the support that we provide, but it's research-based information. Right. Yeah. Yes. So it's not just... Therapists, you know, it's, we're winging it. it absolutely. Yeah. We yeah. provide, I mean, this. we get real research mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. topics that we're going to provide that night mm -hmm. um, <laughs> to present it to them. And we had um, a guided a, meditation last night, yes, too, yes, so awesome. from, a, from an external source. Uh -huh. The clinical component is a bust yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. in any group. Yeah, just, like if someone know. asks us, um, well, how are you qualified to, you know, lead this portal mm -hmm. or lead the discussion? Right. Mm -hmm. You know, I mm -hmm. want them to feel at ease that mm -hmm. it, we are professional, obviously, Absolutely. but I want mm -hmm. them to be really comfortable with mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. to you. You right, particularly yes. the three of you. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. I mean, yeah, with clinical background, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, as a mental, you know, yeah, mental health background. The mm -hmm. research is not like something, you know, oh, here, because I think it's right. No, mm -hmm. we're not going to mm -hmm. provide the I think it's right research. We're mm -hmm. going to provide the research Tried um, and tested. that has shown yeah. the exactly. studies that have been, mm -hmm. you know, proven mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. effective, and that's what we bring to the table. But you know, ladies, what are some of the topics that we have discussed already and that we will plan on discussing? I think, mm -hmm. I, I think the viewers will want to know. Well, okay, you talk about the women's, but what do you talk about? Yeah. What's mm -hmm. the, what do you actually mm -hmm. talk about? So, what, so our first complimentary class, I, I you know, compliment. Our first class, to introduction class, mm -hmm. right, was about sexuality and desires of women, mm -hmm. and we really we, broke the ice. Yeah, we broke <laughs> the ice, <laughs> and I think day. it was called. Are you a hoe? <laughs> right. <laughs> yes. She's all like, yes. I can't put that on the same. No, but <laughs> we wanted it to sound yeah. as bad as it did. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah, so many really women. To raise some eyebrows. Yeah, yeah. And so many women have no idea about their own sexuality. So right. they think that if they perform a sexual act, it makes them, it makes them immoral. It makes them like less of a mother. It makes them, you know, and this is usually with their partners that they're spending their whole rest of their life with. Like these are the complexes mm -hmm. that women experience mm -hmm. while in committed relationships mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with permanent partners. Mm -hmm. And it was, it was um, eye catching, you know? Mm -hmm. Yes. We had a lot of women show we up. We had day. a lot of women mm -hmm. show up because believe it or not, secretly, everyone was intrigued. Mm -hmm. Of course. A yeah. As females, especially within the Armenian community, they're- It's like an R-rated movie. You right, know. exactly. <laughs> but I, I think not to mention the whole you know, yeah. the doubting of your sexuality. What is okay? What is not? What's mm -hmm. normal? What's yeah. not? Mm -hmm. What do I do? What don't I do? Mm -hmm. Would this make me look bad yes. in front of my partner? What would my mm -hmm. partner think? Right. Yeah. You know, so then do I hide my desires? Yeah. Do I hide my wants and needs because mm -hmm. I don't feel comfortable enough? Mm -hmm. 
to express them? Mm -hmm. And how do I go about yeah. expressing and them? With these questions, people come to the woman's portal to feel free to ask them. Yes. Ask and they questions. relate. And it's just an we amazing... We do have to, to give them a little bit of a push, mm -hmm. which they need that yes. push. They do. You know, it, from it's their body language says a lot in the beginning. And mm -hmm. I know you're probably watching this episode and you're thinking, well... It's not for me, and right. you know I'm not gonna do it, and I feel embarrassed sharing. We have many topics that we are mm -hmm. discussing, things that you didn't even didn't even cross your mind that you would discuss that would have intrigued you had you mm -hmm. thought of it then. Right. Mm -hmm. So if we're thinking of it now. We're asking these important mm -hmm. questions now, and we are making it okay to discuss it because mm -hmm. we're all. As much as it's uncomfortable, it is, but you can still come and listen. Mm -hmm. Maybe first, once, twice, three times, you know, you'll right. be quiet mm -hmm. and then you're like, oh, I have something to say. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. you know, I think everyone that's... talks on the first class. I mean, even on their first class sitting, mm -hmm. everyone yeah. felt comfortable to talk. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was a sex one. Yeah. That was hard. Right. Even, <laughs> yeah, that's true. No pun intended. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's a it's a blessing to be able to have yeah. the women who want to be there yes. commit themselves every two weeks to these mm -hmm. classes. Mm -hmm. I mean, we couldn't do these without the women who want to attend. You know? So right. uh, definitely we're calling out to all of you lovely mm -hmm. women. You don't have to be in a domestic violence no. relationship. No, absolutely uh, not. Yeah. You can be in a completely healthy, Amazing committed relationship. relationship. Yeah. And this Bring that to the for table you, for yourself. For yourself. Yeah, we want to hear them. Yeah, we want to hear that part of the mm -hmm. of life too because there's so much we can learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Good mm -hmm. things that we've experienced, mm -hmm. not so good things that we've experienced. Mm -hmm. And so it's like, why not? Like, let's bring mm -hmm. it all together to mm -hmm. the table. We can talk about Nordstrom Rack stuff later. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Let's start looking inward, you mm -hmm. know, and deciphering who we are. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I think because you guys, you mentioned this is not just for obviously domestic violence situations, but I want to provide, this is for single women, mm -hmm. this is for single moms, mm -hmm. divorcees, um, this is for widows. any widows, mm -hmm. um, parents, I mean, it's for anybody. Mm -hmm. And oh, we see. address what it's like to be a single mom and a single Armenian mom how do you transition how do you adjust mm -hmm. um, how do you deal with divorce and separation mm -hmm. how do you Loss. overcome um, yeah. the the talking the questions mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. explaining yourself why you made this decision you know the hardships the chastising. right exactly so I mean we have multiple topics from self-awareness to um, uh, neuroplasticity. How do you rewire your brain? Mm -hmm. Rewiring your brain is fun, you guys. Mm -hmm. It really is, and we're going to be discussing that next mm -hmm. week. So if anyone's interested, mm -hmm. this would be the time to join. Mm -hmm. This is one thing that I'm uh, amazed at with you know ourselves is how we mm -hmm. spend so little time analyzing ourselves and yeah. analyzing our functions, mm -hmm. analyzing our triggers, analyzing our brain. Mm -hmm. Like this is the thing that puts the rest of this in motion. Mm -hmm. You know, aside mm -hmm. from your inner core energy, mm -hmm. right. but this is what's like operating you. you. So right. mm -hmm. learn that. Learn why mm -hmm. it operates the way it does. Learn why it malfunctions. <laughs> right. You and know, self aware. That yeah, the cultivating self, -aware. self awareness. Mm -hmm. It's literally the awareness of the self. And mm -hmm. we had that discussion just uh, a couple of days ago, and the self awareness was a two part. Mm -hmm. uh, it was uh, mm -hmm. women's portal. Because there's so much to discuss and sometimes we mm -hmm. do derail and we do talk about personal things because we're there and we're so supportive mm -hmm. of each other. But um, that one was really, really important. And I believe Eve gave the statistic of like how many people are actually self-aware and if they know yes. the definition of self-awareness. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that was really like mind-blowing yeah. to me because as adults, mm -hmm. we're supposed to... Mm -hmm. exactly. be pretty self-aware mm -hmm. I mean we and can a lot mess of people up sometimes think that they're self-aware but they're not but they're not yeah I mean it's exactly. amazing I think what was it the study was about they've studied 5,000 participants and mm -hmm. out of 5,000 all of them thought they were pretty self-aware but out of 5,000 only 10 to 15 percent mm -hmm. fit the criteria yeah. 10 to 15 percent fit the criteria of being self-aware I mean it's amazing such a low number. It's a very yeah. low number. Sometimes 
we falsify our own understanding mm -hmm. yes. of ourselves. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. to, fit, to fit our need mm -hmm. at the time or to justify our emotions at the time mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. it just makes more sense, right? To justify right. why we feel a certain way mm -hmm. rather than coming to terms or facing the truth. Or to just conform to mm -hmm. people around us. Right. Accountability. Yeah. yeah. Um, just so our viewers can get an idea, how are these women's portal classes um, structured? Like, so they know what it's like to, to come and what to expect. So uh, the structure is very loose, but we have uh, definitely an agenda. We, we have an idea of what we're going to talk about, mm -hmm. but it's very loosely structured. So that way we can make room for you other know, conversations. Other conversations. To Flexibility. Occur. Flexibility, mm -hmm. yes, exactly fluidity mm -hmm. um, so like we mentioned one two of the classes already have been about cultivating self-awareness mm -hmm. and we discuss mm -hmm. in it how you can do it give up activities about how that can happen and another class that we are doing uh, for next week August 4th please join us it's about neural reprogramming like Eve mentioned and what neural reprogramming is is a uh, pretty much disciplining your mind mm -hmm. a whole new discipline so what your mind is used to already is what it's used to. Mm -hmm. And that's because you've disciplined it that way. So if you're used to eating snacks at midnight, that's what you've disciplined yourself to do. So it's not necessarily something very uh, positive habit forming. It's a negative habit forming if you're eating snacks and after midnight, which is going to probably affect your health, mm -hmm. physical health. And also, if you're probably snacking after midnight, there's something happening with you that you're, you know, you're escaping yeah, from. Yeah, maybe stress. Yeah, so mm -hmm. what what happens is you have to recognize those triggers. Mm -hmm. You have to recognize those things patterns. about yourself, those patterns about mm -hmm. yourself. Mm -hmm. And literally dismantle mm -hmm. and reprogram. Your brain. Your brain. So right. what do you have to do first is cut out eating the snacks after midnight. Mm -hmm. Then what do you have to do next? stop yourself from eating the snack at midnight or replace it with a cup of water replace it with a carrot stick or whatnot some something to replace the bad habit with a good mm -hmm. habit bad good you know what somebody might be thinking actually is oh is this like hypnosis mm -hmm. right a lot of people use hypnosis mm -hmm to mm -hmm. like quit smoking and rewire their brain and get mm -hmm. rid of bad habits and things like that. So what I'm really curious, I have no idea. You guys mentioned mm -hmm. it last time when mm -hmm. we didn't really elaborate. Mm -hmm. Do tell mm -hmm. what that is to rewire your brain. Uh, well, like I mentioned, mm -hmm. when you're replacing old habits mm -hmm. with new ones, mm -hmm. you're rewiring your brain. Okay. So you're, you always want to be Sorry, you always want to be doing something, mm -hmm. you know, when you don't want to be stagnant. So mm -hmm. but you also don't want to be performing these bad habits. So, I mean, mm -hmm. this is just one form of neural mm -hmm. and it's just mm -hmm. such a basic example. Right. But mm -hmm. we're talking about like maybe even reprogramming trauma. Right. You know, okay. and I'll let you guys go ahead mm -hmm. with that one. Yeah. And uh, just, I guess, just to add some research to that, when they researched the human brain, uh, what they found with neuroplasticity is throughout the years when people go through chronic stress, we have a fight or flight situation. Of course, yeah. Back in the days, fight or flight situations were really used for a fight or just a runaway situation, very basic situations. Right now, quite literally fight or flight. Right. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. But right now, we are under stress where we, whether it's traffic, people are doing this fight or flight situation, they are releasing uh, a stress hormone on a daily basis, cortisol. almost every day, cortisol. Mm -hmm. So cortisol. it's said, yes. and it's said that if you release cortisol on a daily basis, which we do, it's a stress hormone. Mm -hmm. What it does, it actually shrinks your brain in size. It's Mm -hmm. It shrinks your brain and what happens to your synapses in your brain is they start to die out and they are unable to communicate. The and connections, so, the neurotransmitters. Mm -hmm. So throughout the years what happens, we start to lose memory, 
-hmm. we start to have Alzheimer's, mm -hmm. we have bad judgment, and we can't handle basic stress. We get overwhelmed really quickly. And when we begin to, and they said that when we rewire our brain, when you're ready for that, it doesn't matter the age. So you don't have to be young. It, you can be as old as 80 years old. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. that's where it happens is they suggest two major things where you can actually help your synapses start working again. Mm -hmm. You can get them to work again where they can start to commu uh, send signal messages. And with that, it's, it was amazing. They said meditation and exercise. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Simple. Mm -hmm. Simple. Meditation and mm -hmm. exercise. That and in addition to what, Nar, what you said is the good habit and bad habit start to substitute these mm -hmm, with mm -hmm. your bad and good on a daily basis be that becoming your lifestyle yes. they can be part of you and of course they've suggested to add in memory games which right. is also very good mm -hmm. for your brain um, just anything that eating healthy uh, these are the uh, other things like yoga can take uh, place it doesn't just it doesn't have to be meditation and exercise but those were the two major uh, things that actually help your brain uh, come back to you it's know where it used to be. so it's, it's yeah it's just that was just the all of that research. might seem like it's a lot of work and it is but it's mm -hmm. fun when you do it so mm -hmm. like the explanation of mm -hmm. it can be tedious and like you know you might yawn at it but Mm -hmm. It is so much fun when you start having epiphanies mm -hmm. about yourself and, mm -hmm. oh my God, like, this is why I do these things, you know, and mm -hmm. how can I change this about myself? Mm -hmm. Then you start wondering, yeah. what, mm -hmm. why? Because you're not aware mm -hmm. that you can change. Yes. Mm -hmm. You yes. think this is it, mm -hmm. I'm done, there's no way I can change, dogs. you know, but the beauty is, yes, you can, mm -hmm. and you can mm -hmm. rewire that, allow yourself to grow again. Mm -hmm. um, and. Our viewers just got a glimpse of what we do in our mm -hmm. women's portal. I mean, mm -hmm. you guys are lucky. We got a quick little mm -hmm. session no, in there. We haven't had a class. Yeah, on that and yet. we haven't <laughs> had a class, so we kind of, you know, little spoiler there. But um, <laughs> but we'll have the class before this is out. So, <laughs> so the good thing is, well, they'll ask, okay, what am I going to do with this information? Okay, here you are sitting and talking, mm -hmm. but we provide examples. We help the woman mm -hmm. in our group process mm -hmm. their trauma. Mm -hmm. and allow them to learn how to rewire and gain their strength back. So I actually want to ask a member what she thinks about the woman's portal. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Christine. Yeah. Well, I, I, I love it. Like for you for yourself. As like a person, yeah. Just it's not even about candid coffee or anything like that. It's personally, just, like, personally. What have you taken from it? Just one tiny example that has personally shifted your perspective about yourself. Um, Put her on the spot, y'all. My, right. No, myself, uh, as far as myself, how much I love to um, be, in, be in a circle or a place or a meeting where I am going to learn something new just for myself aside from the many other things I'm going to learn but but what I love the most about it is how much people were willing to let their guard down mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that some more than others because sometimes the people are there to really really vent but others are there and they're more quiet and then sometimes it just kind of comes out and uh building that trust is really important mm -hmm. right and that's what i love the most the fact that they felt so much comfort and trust mm -hmm. that they were willing to mm -hmm. really let their guard down and talk mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. something uh, very personal mm -hmm. and it's so brave of them Absolutely. yeah because it's, it yeah. it's not easy yeah it's not easy it's not easy especially for older people mm -hmm. yes <laughs> i was reading um an article mm -hmm. that i wanted to share and it talked about why people who see therapists lie. Oh, yeah. lie about seeing a therapist? No, no, lie, lie to, to their, their therapist. therapist. Lie to their therapist. So 83% oh, of individuals so who have one-on-one, -on -one, not group, okay. and I'm gonna tell you why there's a difference. Okay. So one-on-one, -on -one, at least one time, 83% of people have lied one time. 63% 
have lied frequently to their therapist, mm -hmm. which is interesting because you go to your therapist to open up and be honest. Mm -hmm. right. And the reason why they lie mm -hmm. is to look good in front of their therapist. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's crazy. They don't want to be judged. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. By their therapist. Yeah, by, by their the therapist. therapist. So that means that therapists are judging. Exactly, and that's how they felt. Yeah. Now, mm -hmm. why does this make it different? Because in a group setting, you're not alone. Mm. In a group setting, mm -hmm. there are Religion. people who think like you and who feel like you, which you can relate to. Mm -hmm. That is why group therapy has a much more success rate. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. you don't feel obligated to keep up this facade with your therapist so and that your parents, because you. they, it said mm -hmm. that you yeah. want your therapist to feel like he or she is doing a good job and that you're improving. Yeah. When in fact you're not, but every time you come, you tell the therapist, I'm doing great. Yeah, yeah that works so well because you don't want to look like a failure. Mm -hmm. But also no accountability. Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what the crazy part is that the mm -hmm. therapist of the 63% mm -hmm. were not aware that their clients were lying mm -hmm. to them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, which is why I prefer group therapy. Mm -hmm. You yes. relate to people. Mm -hmm. The people sitting there, when they start talking in your head, you're like, Oh mm -hmm. shit, I ain't the only one here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you begin yeah. to feel comfortable mm -hmm. to and talk like about it and to alone. address it. Mm -hmm. And we have different personalities, mm -hmm. but we connect. We're yes. different, but we're very similar. Yeah, we mm -hmm. have the same vision. Mm -hmm. Right. That's mm -hmm. what propels us to come together mm -hmm. and make sure that this movement mm -hmm. is forever, not just temporary, not just today. Yeah. Like we want it to grow and we want it to remain and we want to be able to slowly but surely shift perspectives mm -hmm. of our households for uh, look, I'm from a divorced family, you know, it's not like I'm trying to preach separation in any way. As a matter of fact, I am preaching togetherness, even mm -hmm. coming as a divorced woman. I'm mm -hmm. I want the family unit to stay together. And that has been one of my main um I guess goals. It's been it's been one of my main pushes to mm -hmm. become a coach. I, I feel like now that I am a coach, because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I was thinking to myself, I'm like, why did I go into coaching? Like, why? You know, like it, it just pulled me to it. I just felt natural, mm -hmm. and especially after I wrote my book, I was like, oh, dude, like I can really teach this concepts to people that otherwise don't readily think about these things. And that's why, again, the women's portal mm -hmm. is so important because mm -hmm. we, we um, relay concepts, you know, just mm -hmm. even the concept of, of, about cultivating self-awareness and realizing that you are indeed unaware. You know, just that epiphany alone could tr like push you in a whole new trajectory. Mm -hmm. Your life could change mm -hmm. drastically, dramatically, mm -hmm. and, in, 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 in good ways, you know? Mm -hmm. But first, you got to be willing to dismantle. Mm -hmm. Right. And I and love just that. Just take, take one step mm -hmm. towards that. Mm -hmm. Right. And I love that uh, our members in the Women's Portal, they get to kind of receive three different perspectives because we all have different styles and all are just amazing. And it's, it's nice for them to be able to get that, get a different view right. and different style and technique. So that's another, I mean, that's, that's wonderful. And we're unafraid to deliver, mm -hmm. you know? Yes. We're, nope, we we're, are not. We're very vocal <laughs> and we don't hold back. Right. Even some cursing here and there goes on, it's you know, okay. and it's okay. And one it's of, healthy. One of the ladies healthy. in our group had a little bit of a moment. She was very calm, but she did break down a little bit. Mm -hmm. And she said, I'm so sorry about this mess because she thought she was being a mess by crying and she was so yeah. sweet. She, she had a really, really difficult day and she came there and she kind of released mm -hmm. all that and you said, don't worry, we're really good at cleaning messes. Mm -hmm. So, um, I love sleep, that. Sleep, sleep. Yeah. I love that <laughs> We don't need evidence behind. <laughs> <laughs> we're women. We know how to clean, all right? <laughs> clean up messes. And I'm, That's I'm talking about cleaning like this too, because look at these guns. Like, oh, I know how to clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're if, you, if you lift, bro, you're going to know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Bro. Do you lift, bro? bro? You guys never saw that meme? Yeah, of course. She lifts children. Right. I practice my stand up at the women's portal. There you go. Sitting uh, down. It does. She really does. She's going to keep her day up. job, though. Mm -hmm. She is going to keep. Yeah. Yeah. No one's paying me for my yeah. night job. She's going to keep her day job for the time. <laughs> 
She definitely is going to get a few day jobs. Yeah. To support my night job. And, uh, and you know what? I'm actually glad this came up because we incorporate a lot of humor yes. in our women's group. Yeah. Because God knows we all need to laugh. We do. And mm -hmm. it's really, really needed. But um, while you guys were speaking, I thought about something that happened during the Women's Move Mountain mm -hmm. movement. Um, while we were introducing our, the concept of the Women's Portal, because we were um, advertising the introduction of our first class. Right. So when I was discussing the Women's Portal with some of the females there, one of the ladies came up to me and she said, you know what I would love for you guys to talk about or maybe consider? Um, I said, sure, absolutely, let us, please, please let us know what that would be. And she said, what it's like to date. How do you date as an Armenian female? Mm -hmm. But she said, I, how do you find somebody? Like, how do you date as an Armenian yeah. female? Mm -hmm. Now in she? days, um, she was in her 30s oh, okay, and yeah. she was so, struggling with that. Same. And I said, that is something that we're going to talk about. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How do you okay, navigate do the weeks, dating? I'm going to come back from my vacation. Yeah, we definitely will keep that <laughs> for the next, next session. Yeah, but sure. I think it's an important topic. Yes. And, and another question, how do you date during COVID? Mm -hmm. Get creative. I think I think for the most part, people have kind of like simmered down mm -hmm. right. and are more willing to meet in person and date and, you know, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, there's a lot there's of uncertainty right go, now. Though. I, as yeah. a matter of fact, would love yeah. to do like a like speed dating. Yeah, that we would can be fun. monitor a speed or dating or have a, a special night just for, for speed bachelors dating? and yeah. bachelorettes. Just yeah, for, uh, for, for our women's portal. Sure. Or just at an event somewhere mm -hmm. where alcohol is involved. <laughs> well, one of the things we discussed was outside of the the women's portal. Um, outside of the classes or the group sessions, we thought it would be fun to create an outing of some sort to yeah. bring the woman mm -hmm. together that mm -hmm. may include alcohol, okay, uh, Chris, good. you know, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. and allow people just to really mm -hmm. be free and enjoy themselves. Mm -hmm. But yeah, that would be fun. How do you create speed dating with bachelorettes and bachelors mm -hmm. within the Armenian community? Maybe they come with their couples friends. Maybe we should incorporate that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't, Anyone I don't know out there pop, have suggestions? Pop into speed dating, like sitting and then moving and then sitting and then moving. I think a mingling party okay. for singles would be better so they have the range to kind of like... You got to kind of force them in the situation. So speed dating would definitely work. It'd, it'd be a good Yeah, speed breaker. dating would actually work really? better because you would be forced to sit like, and talk though. Yeah. Because if you're mingling, really, are you going to mingle? No one's mingling. No, no one's mingling. Forget because it. again, uh, some of the barriers, I went to, like, right? A matchmaker thing a few years back to support a friend, mm -hmm. um, and it was an Armenian like singles thing. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they mingled, but it was I don't know how much. But there was no speed dating. No. So, right, we're so do speed dating. did you just hear yourself said, "Oh, they yeah. mingled," but uh, yeah. Right, yeah, exactly. So when you're forcing a situation like that, mm -hmm. you have to ask questions. Okay. Maybe discomfort. All right. Maybe that will be like an uncomfortable discomfort. reality. Yes. Uh, yes. Yeah. Amazing. Facing the barriers mm -hmm. absolutely. of dating. Okay. We will do that. That's how. I'm down. That's, That's how. how. And I think Anyone out there want to sponsor that speed dating? <laughs> Call us. Call us, exactly. Yeah. I personally would love to experience everybody to come to the women's portal and experience them there. Mm -hmm. There's so much that we can sit here and talk about. And yes. It's just never going to do it justice, you know. We're never going to express it in the way that you will really experience is, right? it. Right. So please come, come out, up. support the movement, support the women. Uh, if you are a woman, if you are a woman, please just, mm -hmm. you know, consider sending somebody that might need it if you don't want to experience this for yourself. But do not hold this information uh, mm -hmm. back. to your back. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Definitely share it. You never know who will mm -hmm. benefit. As a matter of fact, one of the... Uh, members told me in a text message like I, I live for these meetings right now and mm -hmm. we've only had two meetings mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. amazing yeah mm -hmm. that's amazing and you'll you'll never know who you will inspire um, by coming by coming mm -hmm. to women's portal and sharing your and sharing your feedback feedback yeah absolutely and your life experience mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know I think it's a great place mm -hmm. to face your fears mm -hmm. yep address your insecurities and allow yourself to be you and come out of your shell. Sometimes we have to maintain um, 
a couple of different facades mm -hmm. because we have to meet up with society's standards mm -hmm. expectations. and expectations and this is a place where you can truly be you and be accepted and validated mm -hmm. right. so face your fears it's okay I know it's mm -hmm. scary but look everything takes time mm -hmm. and we're here for you guys so if anyone's asked well how in the world do we reach you guys mm -hmm. if we're interested exactly. well multiple places um, obviously the woman's portal on Instagram mm -hmm. we'll have that well yeah day. and then of course uh, with coach NAR or NAR smart and with Northridge mm -hmm. Counseling Center DM us say hey we're interested in the woman's portal mm -hmm. Leave us your information, your number, and we'll reach out and let you know when the class is, the location. We'll uh, DM you the location. Mm -hmm. And again, like uh, Nar said, the first session is free. And if you feel like this is a good fit for you, mm -hmm. you go ahead and pay for the membership. And from then on, it's a life-changing mm -hmm. experience. Agreed. All right, ladies, thank you so much again for taking the time to be here and to share your wisdom and your experience and uh, your love for your community. And um, I hope that this will help, if it just helps even one or two or a handful of people uh, have a better outcome in their future and in their lives and, you know, um, help, with, help them with this stressful situation. I think we, we would have, we'll be happy with the job that we did just with this interview. So Absolutely. thank you again for your time. Thank you for All having of you. us. Thank you. Yes, of course. All of the information will be provided uh, on the screen for everything that we mentioned and any kind of uh, phone numbers and links and things like that so that uh, if anyone needs that kind of guidance and counseling, uh, it, it will be available to them. Thank you for joining us. Until next time.